Okay, so yesterday we had a major update to Raspberry Pi OS. Uh, my version of KDE Plasma is based on Raspberry Pi OS 64-bit, and so there are loads and loads of updates needed. So what I thought I'd do is uh, start with a fresh copy with all the changes I've made in these three previous videos, apply all the updates, and then save it available for download from Google Drive. So let's log in. So I could download it from my Google Drive link, but I've still got it on here. So in my downloads folder, so this one here, 13th of June. So let's open up Imager, choose OS, scroll all the way to the bottom, use custom. So it's this one here, 4.2 gig, choose storage. So I'm gonna use a 16 gig micro SD card because I think the backup part is quicker when I'm backing this up to be able to upload it to Google Drive. And let's hit right and yes, and come back when that's all done. Okay, so that's all done. So let's hit continue and close all this down and shut this down. Now I'm using a SD card reader at the moment and the only reason for that, and I've got my 16 gig card in here, is that I've had a little bit of trouble occasionally with this SD card reader, which is an expander because the SD card slot is at the back where the fan is. But I'm thinking I might do something different with that when I introduce this cooler, because I'm gonna put this one in it. So let's unplug the KDE Plasma. This is my main build, this is the one I use all the time. But this is the one I'm gonna update and uh, make available on Google Drive. So let's switch off and boot it up for the first time. And it shouldn't take very long. Okay, so that's started up. It's a bit slower because it's running from an SD card, um, but I need to just log in now. And the password I leave on this, uh, the one I upload is Lee PSP Video. So I'm going to do a load of updates on this uh, to make sure it is as up to date as it can be when I uh, upload it to Google Drive and make it available. But one thing I didn't do in the last build was to add a text editor down here. And I really like a text editor. Now you might have noticed in some of my other videos I've got mouse pad, but I really don't like the icon on it. Um, and KWrite is on here. So if we do KWrite, I can then right click and pin to task manager and you can see it comes down the bottom here. Um, but with KWrite, I'm not a big fan of the standard theme that it comes with. I don't really like it with text. It's a bit it's a bit gray and white on gray. I don't think it looks that good. So if we do view and color theme, and I like the Vim dark one, which is this one. I think that looks the best. So let's close that down. So currently I have two text editors on there. So I've got KWrite, and I've got mouse pad. I'm gonna get rid of mouse pad uh, because I don't really use it. Now I'm gonna use KWrite. So let's open a terminal. sudo at remove mouse pad and yes. And if I do control alt T, I get a different terminal. And this is console, whereas the other one I use is LX terminal. So I think I'm gonna get rid of console uh, because again, it's got that sort of gray theme. So hopefully that removes in the same way. Close this down. Yeah, looks like it does. So if I press Control Alt T, what do we reckon happens now? This will start the program console. Ah, so I need to change that somewhere else. Fail to start console. Uh, so with KDE, there's loads and loads of customization. So let's close this down. So I want it to start LX terminal. So let's try system settings, shortcuts maybe, custom shortcuts. Ah, uh, here we go, launch console. Uh, so I've got launch console here as control alt T. So I'm gonna delete that. So let's try add application. Ah, uh, here we go. Uh, system and LX terminal and OK. LX terminal, add a shortcut, input control alt T and apply. Let's close that down. So control alt T. Yeah, it comes up with LX terminal and that's the one on here. So it just tidies things up a bit. So let's apply all these updates. Down the bottom here, we've got this update manager. 
And if I go full screen, because there are loads. There was loads on my one in my video the other day, but there's going to be a lot more on this. Yeah. So let's do update all. And come back when it's all done. So now we're all up to date. Let's close that down. And uh, I guess I'll do a restart and see if everything looks all right. Yep, I've been playing around with it and everything seems to be working fine. All the window snapping and everything else is working. Uh, the network seems to be working. I haven't found any issues at all so far, so I think I'm ready to upload that. Uh, so I'm gonna shut it all down and reboot in my main KDE and log in. And I haven't updated this one yet, but that doesn't matter for this purposes. So let's call up, is it PySafe, I think was the backup one? Yeah, PySafe. And this can back up my SD card. I'm going to put all my KDE videos in one playlist uh, it's because you can watch it from the start and see all the customization. So rather than download my version, if you want to just customize your Raspberry Pi OS, use a different theme, learn how to do various different bits and install different programs, watch that playlist and, and you'll know how to do it. Or if you want the easy option, just download this from Google Drive. There will be a link in the description. So backup media to an image file, SD card reader, and what shall I call it? So I need to start calling these old, otherwise I'm gonna get confused. So I've got PyOS 64 KDE Lee PSP video, let's still call it that. Yeah, that should be pretty clear. Let's hit okay, and yes and come back when all that's done. Okay, so that's all done. So it should be in my downloads folder. Let's just double check that that's there. Downloads, and here it is. PyOS KDE Lee PSP video on the 8th of September. So how big is that? 4.5 gig. So I'll upload that to Google Drive, and as I said before, the link will be in the description, but also if you wanna know more about it, look out for that playlist where I've put all the KDE videos together. Okay, so I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.